is October 22nd, 2023. We are at Stillhouse Hollow Lake. Water's all the way down. I'm probably down about 15, 20 feet of water. I'm standing in what used to be 15, 20 feet of water. Up there, I used to be able to fish up there off that ridge. For if this lake ever fills back up again, we know what this log looks like underneath. And maybe you can swim down there and noodle out a catfish or something. But it's good to see this structure now. That way in the future, if it ever goes back up, you know where to fish. Got a bunch of crappy houses right here. Right behind that log. I'm pretty sure this log had a bunch of big fish under it. Near it. That probably held a big old flathead in there. I'm sure of it. Right under there too. That's where you would go and try to pull one out, man. That's crazy. Even in there, that'd be a good place for one. That's where I'd live. That was a big catfish. Cool. See this trash can? It's probably been under this lake for years and years and years from the looks of it. And I guarantee you, big old giant flathead probably live in this thing. Why wouldn't it? That's perfect, man. Now I know what to come look for. When the water comes back up, if it comes back up. See what happens. Just old decomposed plant life and animal matter and biological stuff. This was the bottom of the, the river at one point. And all this prime real estate. We got a hole in that log too, down there. Oh, we gotta watch your step. This grass grew over a bunch of sticks. It's ankle breaking territory. Ugh. Lakeview Nature Trail. Hmm. We got an old cast net. No weights. Be a good net to use for something. Wish I found some more lures. Oh. Bobber looks brand new cracks on it keeper what else we got out here someone lost a whole boat anchor that's a good one might have to drag that one back with us <laughs> put it right here what else we find Look at that guy can't beat that, man. Cool. Let's see what else we can find. Another cast net. Some got the weights on it. Any lures? No. If you look here, all the little holes right there. Guess what did that? Well, here's a clue. What does that look like? Little raccoon feet. Looking for crustaceans. And you can see their, their remnants of the little mussels they're eating. I break them apart and eat them. Same with the crawfish. You see a lot of rope in here because people like to make their own log jams. So you see this one's obviously tied up to kind of make a log jam right here. Well, that's cool. We can fish habitat and snags <laughs> come back for my anchor I don't need the rope just need the anchor it's a good one like 25 bucks at the store man this is an old Shakespeare yeah ugly stick GX2 the reel and everything that rod's probably seen better days but I don't know. This rod might actually be good. We'll take it and see what's up. 
If it's no good, I'll throw it away. It's got all the eye holes. And the tip looks okay. Let's check it out. Cause I'm rocking the ugly stick GX2 right here. Smaller one though. And don't forget my anchor. Let's go. All right, well, we'll take this old fishing pole. Inside looks good. And we'll sit it right there, see if we can do something with it. No fish yet, but let's keep walking around. See what we can't find. I'm not sure, but I think someone tried to make a crappy house over here. There's another one over there, but we got one right over here. It looks like they submerged with some PVC pipe and some plastic tubing, cinder blocks. It's just artificial structure, it looks like. For the crappy and fish to go in and out of. Well, keep in mind on that one. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight post in. It's way in here. Got some people digging for I don't know what. But there's a bunch of little holes everywhere. Oh, I know what it is. Somebody came down here with the metal detector. And started digging little holes and stuff and finding lures and hooks. I bet you that's what it was. Because those all look like little shovel holes right there. And the only reason I'd dig a bunch of little holes like that if I had a metal detector. And I was finding all kinds of stuff. And I bet you this is the trash they picked up while they were out here. Whoever did this, I appreciate you guys. I really do appreciate it. Picking up all the junk out here. Let's go walk around and see what else we can't find. Oh, look what we have here. Oh, short nose gar, it looks like. <clears throat> yep. There's the teeth. Still kind of stinky, so let's leave it alone. Whew. And another cast net. Hmm. Check it out, another artificial crappy house. Neato. What is this? Another anchor. Ugh. Neato. Look at this. I think I'll take this one home too. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Find all kinds of stuff. Leave it there when I get back. And we are up to cast net number four, I believe. How many is that everybody? Three, four? Yeah, we got one up there on the stick. It's okay if I don't catch any fish today, everybody. I'm finding all kinds of cool things. I'm outside getting some fresh air, man. Enjoying this heat and vibration and radiation from our star up there get some exercise got another little bitty fish house it's a perfect one too look at that how nice that is out in the middle of nowhere little fish house and nothing else all around it so you could be fishing all these areas and find that one spot right there pick one up but there's no water over it so yeah test 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 well looks like someone got one of my rattlesnakes flattened them out like a pancake Someone took the rattle. <laughs> You're fresh too, bro. That's like this morning. Well, see you later. This looks like a nice little area to find some critters. What do we got here? The old rock flip. Wait, ooh, it's a nice rock. Got all kinds of fossils in there. Let's go up. Oh, look. Scorpion. Ah. There's a critter for you. Yeah, another venomous creature of Texas. 
is the bark scorpion. It's one of the more poisonous ones. The one of those uh, that actually hurt. But his little legs and, oh, he's trying to get me. His little pincer. His little pincers. His little legs and that little, that thing's trying to get you. That little tail right there. Hmm. Yeah, that guy will get you if you let him. And it'll be stinger. All right, let's let this guy go. There you go, man. Don't crawl on my sock. We are over here now at Rivers Bend Park, the other side of Stillhouse. See what it's like over here, man. Man, it's like 20 feet. Uh, like 16 to 18 or something like that. Feet low. But I have old videos where I was up here with my wife and kids right here and all these trees and bushes lifting up these rocks right here for crawfish and stuff like that but look how far it drops man dang that was filled up a few months ago a little cove right here i mean just the other day i not the other day but a few months ago i was catching little fish right here bass and stuff but now it's gone Hmm. Paddle. All right, so I just found that dead rattlesnake out there in the road. I'm right down in the parking lot over here, and I'm looking through all this wood and stuff, see if I can't find you a rattlesnake, man. I haven't, I used to look for him as a kid when I was younger all the time, and you shouldn't be doing it with your finger, really, lifting these with your hands. Cause you could get bit. Here's a good log right here. Let's see if we can't turn this over for you guys. Oh, there you go. Uh, that's a rattlesnake right there. That is a Texas diamondback rattlesnake. It is pretty poisonous. It is venomous. It does have a rattle on it, but uh, don't look like it's too pissed off right now. It's probably trying to stay warm. <sighs> Takes a diamond back rattlesnake, everybody. I knew there was one right here. Where there's one, there's more. Nice little close up. I think we're just going to go ahead and leave this guy alone, you guys. But you know what? We gotta see that rattle, man. We gotta see that rattle. Let's see if we can't get that rattle going. All right, little guy. Uh, maybe I could probably pick him up. It's been a while since I picked up a rattlesnake. But... And they are a pit viper. And they will usually leave you alone as long as you leave them alone. But if you look right real close here, you can see his rattle down there. He's got a good size rattle. And he's about taking off here in a little bit. He's not yet aggravated. Doesn't really know what's going on yet. There's that rattle. All right, everybody. As you can see, I'm gonna leave this guy alone. Continue watching Oscar Outdoors, everybody. We didn't catch too many fish or anything like that, but we, we saw some cool critters and uh, we found some cool stuff. We kind of got an idea about how bad this uh, whole drought thing is with this, the low water and our lakes and everything, man. So it's just not your state, it's everybody's state. A lot of the water's going low and uh, certain bodies of water but uh, I don't think it's uh, nothing to be too nervous about. Mother Nature will always take care of herself, man. Hey, check it out, man. Stay tuned for another episode of Outside Doors. Take it easy, y'all.